How's it going guys? So I managed to pick up something brand new in the box from eBay. Now, I didn't know it was brand new in the box, but uh, once it arrived, I realized it arrived in the box <laughs> that it was supposed to be in. So let's go ahead and open and see what's inside. Okay, so I have already opened or cut it open here. And I guess it serves as uh, insurance in case it arrives damaged, right? So I have a video showing when I opened it in the condition. So let's see here. Well, <laughs> I mean, it has the instructions here, brand new. Basically, these are what lock it down to the gondola shelf. And uh, let's see if it is new. So, wow, it's properly packed. So this is how they come from Lego. And there you go, guys. This is what I managed to pick up. I can't even get this out. It's so tight. It's a brand new Lego Mario Castle display that I've seen at... The only one place I've seen it is Best Buy that I've seen this particular display. Um, this thing is brand new. It still has a shrink wrap all around it. All the characters are in there. That's, I mean, this is amazing. I wasn't expecting it to become new, but once I saw the box that it was coming in, I was like, whoever had this must have been a store employee and knew to keep everything. Um, I paid a fair penny for this on eBay, but I will say this, one came up on eBay used, I guess from a store and it sold for quite a substantial i think it sold for like 550 almost 600 dollars with shipping and taxes and that was a little too much for my taste so i passed on that one you know i let the bitter <laughs> the highest bitter win and then like a couple days later this one came up for sale and it was a really rough picture it was just like one picture but i could see that it still had the protective uh, layer on the outside here like that so i knew it might be a chance of being new and never in store and when it arrived in this box i just knew okay this is this this is probably new so i have to record this but this is amazing so let me go ahead and stop the video take it out and we'll have a quick look so there's a switch in the back that turns it on now there is a timer on this thing when you can make it activate whenever the light turns on there in the front that's when you know you can wave at it and it'll let you start doing things. So it's on. You can see that the now those are wired into the to the batteries. There's like 16 double D batteries. So there you go. I wave my hand. And there it goes. It starts playing the video. And then the characters start doing different animations tied with the video, I guess. So, <laughs> I, I, it's pretty cool if they have, it still has a shrink wrap on it, so I'm going to love when I take it off, but look at that. Oh, and then it lights up everything at the end of the show there. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look at that. It's just super, super shiny. So you just stuffed it in a little acrylic case. And they stuffed the bottom here. It, it actually has some weight in the bottom, but that's just because they put 16 batteries in there. So what I'm gonna probably do to this is I will keep it original, but uh, later on down the road, I'll you can splice in a standard five volt power supply and make this work. Cause that's what these run on, five volt power supplies, pretty much you can make them run. As long as you have a five volt power supply, you're good to go and these will run fine. Cause all this stuff tends to run at five volts. So it's beautiful. See, wave your hand and then it turns on. And I guess that's just to conserve battery. They don't want people just constantly waving at this thing saying, Hey, I wanted to do it again. So it's kind of a good way to kind of mitigate the batteries dying so fast as it has a timer built into it. Um, looks like this came from Europe. I don't, I'm not familiar with that language, honestly, but maybe someone in the comments will tell me <laughs> what language uh, that pertains to. Um, says there, in case of model damage, 
contact the Lego office, let them know, hey, <laughs> there's something wrong with this box. But this is nice. This is so, so, so nice. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add more characters in there and you just make it like a diorama, pretty much. You know, the Japanese diorama and just kind of deck it out, add more figures, add the Luigi to it, like similar here. Um, unfortunately, it won't be the same because you can't wire it in, <clears throat> you know. But you can add him somewhere around the game, Luigi. You can add maybe more things uh, other than just the castle. I'm thinking all this stuff is glued in because if it arrived in the shipment box and if the shipment box has been moved around and it's still all intact, I'm pretty sure they glued in a lot of the stuff in. But that is just amazing. I, I, I think it's a really good piece to have to set up a diorama for your Super Mario Lego collection. Because, I mean, I have some of the Lego Mario stuff stored over there. So, this gives me more incentive to actually open some of the boxes that I have to kind of set this up and make it my own little world here, which is really, really cool. But, quick video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have an awesome day.